Hi guys! So today I am in my Chanel uniform because I am about to go to work. So I'm just filming this right before I go to work. So I just had a... <coughs> Shit. So I just had a little bit of time before I went to work so I decided to sit down and film this really quick video for you guys. So when I first uploaded my How I Got Hired at uh, Chanel video, I got a comment from, I think it was Haiti Garcia. She um, commented on what products to start with. So that gave me an idea for two videos. The first of which being this one. Now at first when I first read that comment, I was like, huh, like does she mean like the must-have products from Chanel, like what products would be good for people who are first starting out with Chanel, or good products for people who are new to makeup and want to start off using Chanel. So I was like, you know what, what the hell, I might as well just do both videos because I know there are younger girls out there that might want to use Chanel, but they're either probably too intimidated, or it's out of their price range, or whatever it may be, they don't, they're um, a little afraid to approach the brand. So I wanted to make a video today for all my preteen girls, for, every, for anyone who's first starting off with makeup and just want a couple of products, what would be good from Chanel for someone who is first starting off with makeup and want to start at Chanel? Sorry guys, Tofu's barking again because she's crazy. And then later on I'm going to film another video for people who have never used Chanel before and just want the want the must have products like if you never heard of Chanel and you just wanted to um, and you just wanted some tips on what would some good products be to start off with. I'm gonna do a video on that too. But for today, this video is more geared towards my preteen girls or anyone who's first starting off with makeup and they wanna start off with Chanel as a first brand. This is what I'm doing today. Okay, so in my previous videos, I've always mentioned that um, to give yourself a polished look, I would always touch on complexion, eyebrows, mascara, blush, and a little bit of lip color. If you have all of those components, you're going to look polished and put together no matter what. So for complexion, I would recommend a CC cream. Um, it has an SPF of 50, and I know that for sure that it does indeed have an SPF of 50 because I hate the smell of sunscreen. And when I use this, all I smell is sunscreen, which I low-key hate, but this is a really good CC cream. It does retail for $55, but it has a lot of benefits to it. Um, and it has a really good amount of coverage. Um, I've had a lot of people come and ask for the CC cream. And it doesn't give them too much coverage, but it's enough coverage to just even out their skin tone. So for my preteen girls, for or for any high school girl who just wants a little bit of a little something, something to just even out your complexion for the school day, I'd recommend CC cream because not only is it going to protect you from the sun, but it's also going to give you just like a your skin but better look. As of right now, it only comes in three shades, 20, 30, and 40, I believe. I use a shade 20, just for reference. Okay, and next would be the Le Beige powder. I have mine all depotted into um, palettes because I do use these products for freelancing. Um, these give you a glowy, light coverage finish. So I recommend these for young girls and for anyone who has more mature skin and is looking just for like a really light coverage. But I always recommend this for anyone who is looking to set their makeup but wants like a little bit of extra coverage but a little bit of glow, I recommend this one. Or if you feel that this one is a little too heavy for you, that you don't need the extra coverage and you're just looking for something to set your makeup, I would recommend the translucent powders. It does come in four shades. Um, it is 100% translucent. Um, we just have four shades because translucent looks different on every skin tone. So I typically either use translucent one or translucent two depending on what you like. But yeah, if you want something that's just going to set your makeup and nothing more, a translucent powder is going to be good for you. Okay, next thing I would recommend is an eyebrow pencil. So I love the Chanel eyebrow pencils. It comes in 10, 30, 40, and 60. It comes in four shades. Um, for reference, I use number 30, and I could get away with using number 40 if I'm really light-handed. But overall, those are really good eyebrow pencils. Um, the only myth that I have with them is that it's like an actual shape of a pencil. So... Sometimes once it like dulls down a little bit, it gets a little hard to work with, especially if I want something a little more precise. But I mean, nothing a sharpener can't fix. But yeah, so an eyebrow pencil, I everybody needs an eyebrow pencil because everybody's eyebrows need to be defined. You just need to have filled in eyebrows, okay? So get an eyebrow pencil. Okay, next preteen must-have. 
um, makeup beginner must have. So next makeup beginner must have is a mascara. I always recommend the Imitable Mascara. Um, our best selling one is the Le Volume, however it does nothing for me. I have short lashes that point straight down and I feel that that brush is a little too big for me and it just makes my lashes look chunky and I don't know, it just doesn't look good on me. So I always use the Imitable. It's brush is a lot thinner and I find it easier to work with to get into like little corners of my short stubby lashes. And it's actually really good for lifting. I always like the waterproof version. Waterproof would be good for all my makeup beginners. A lot of people always come to the counter and they're, and they're like, oh no, 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 I'm like waterproof because it's a little too hard to take off. Um, I like waterproof because it's wax based and it's gonna hold the curl longer and it's just gonna, I don't know, it just works better for me. The next product I wanna touch on is blush. So depending on your skin tone, I'm always gonna recommend something different for you, but typically if you have like a lighter to medium complexion, I always recommend either a Rose Ecran or a Rose Patel. These are the two most muted everyday blush. Literally when someone comes to the counter and they're like, I want something for everyday use, something that's light, natural, not too heavy. I always recommend Rose Ecran or Rose Patel. Okay, last thing that I'm going to recommend is um, lip gloss. Now, these are our newest lip gloss. It's They are called the Rouge Coco Gloss. They come in like 17 million colors. I have quite a bit of them. Um, the two that I'm holding is 714 Caress and 744 Subteal. So the new formulas of these are super rich, super creamy, super comfortable. The brush is totally different and I love the brush. This is by far my most favorite brush on the market. Nobody has a brush like this. I find it incredibly easy to work with. And the formula is so amazing because you can literally rub your lips together like all day and you're not going to get that like weird ring around your lip. So this would be great for someone who's first starting off with makeup who can often forget that they're wearing makeup and they just kind of rub their lips or whatever it may be. And plus a gloss is very low maintenance that you don't have to touch up throughout the day if you don't want to. So those are my recommended Chanel beginner products. Now if you feel that you can be a little more advanced that these products are a little too basic for you, um, I have a few more products. Actually I have a three more products that I'm going to recommend to you just if you want to step up your um, your makeup game. So if you already have all the products that I just mentioned and you're like mm, I want something a little more, I would recommend eyeliner. So if you don't have time for eyeliner in the morning, that's fine. You can stick with the basics. But if you have time for eyeliner, I would either recommend the um, Chanel Liquid eyeliner it comes in a pen form it is felt a tip and it is super easy to work with you can go from either drawing a super thick line or a really thin line and it's super easy to wing out your eyeliner as well if you want or my other favorite formula of eyeliner that Chanel offers it is a Stilu U waterproof eyeliner it is a twist up and it is super creamy super long wearing ideal for anyone who has school and need it to last throughout the day anyone who's low maintenance, I would recommend these two products. Or if you have that extra time in the morning, I would recommend an eyeshadow quad. Um, I would recommend the Tisse Essential. It's number 266. And it is just a quad of matte, semi-matte um, browns. They're neutral colors and they would look good on almost anybody. So this would be good for anyone who's still a beginner but just want to step up their game a little bit. Quad 266, that's your girl. Okay, now if you feel that your lip gloss game is already strong and you're like, you know what? Like, I'm ready to graduate from lip gloss to lipstick. Like, I'm a woman. The formula that I would recommend to you is either the um, Rouge Coco Shine. That one is a lipstick, but it is more of a tinted lip balm where the color payoff isn't strong, but it is very hydrating and it's just going to give you a really pretty tint. Or if you want like a true lipstick, I would recommend the Rouge Cocos, which um, this one I would recommend this shade to you. It's number 434 in shade Mademoiselle. I recommend this to almost everybody who comes to the counter. I always recommend something like this and most of them end up loving it and they end up buying it. So Mademoiselle is actually a definitely very popular color. It's very neutral, very easy, very easy to use and it looks good on pretty much everybody. So that is it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Um, I hope you guys found all this a product helpful next time you go to 
next time you guys go shopping or if you ever want to go shopping for Chanel and you have no idea what you're looking for if you're, or if you're just like a beginner like I said and you just want some Chanel I hope you guys take these recommendations to heart and just go try them out honestly just approach the counter like do not be intimidated do not be afraid I know Chanel has like a weird wrap where only older people or more womanly people can use it but honestly younger girls can wear Chanel and this year Chanel is coming out with a bunch of exciting color launches like there's so much coming out when it comes to makeup because I mean honestly we're already good with skincare but makeup I've always felt that they needed to step up their game a little bit just because all these makeup brands are coming out with these amazing things that I felt like Chanel needed to come out with it and this year 2017 is the year of launches for Chanel like they have so much coming out and it's oh my god it's amazing I'm excited and I want to tell you guys everything that I learned at school, but like in the book that I received, there's literally like a statement that says that if I reveal anything, I'm, I can be sued. So <laughs> I, even though I want to tell you guys everything, I can't. So, but really, but honestly, the second anything comes out, I'm going to get on here and I'm going to tell you guys. I know I was, I was a little late with the, the blue serum. It's been out for like at least a month now and I've been wanting to tell you guys, but I just haven't been able to. Um, if you guys want a video about the new lip glosses, I will do that. But honestly, just come to the counter. The lip glosses are bomb. That's all you need to know. But yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you have any questions, concerns, comments, always feel free to comment down below, message me, whatever it is, any concerns, I'm open to them. Subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up. Um, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye.